As a referee, you are passionate about your sport and you ensure that the rules are adhered to and players enjoy a safe sports experience. Through this, you play a key role in achieving important goals in sports, enjoying the experience together, performing together. Even so, some referee decisions can cause an emotional reaction, criticism, or worse, swearing or a physical threat. So how can you ensure the rules are applied and still contribute to keeping the game flowing? Based on my experience, I would like to share four insights with you that have helped in my refereeing. Provide structure, stimulate, give personal attention, and share responsibility. Provide a clear structure so players can enjoy their sport, allowing you to referee the game. Not just during the game, but before and after it as well. If you clearly state your expectations to other officials, captains and coaches before the game, they will know what they have agreed to and you can more easily refer to that during and after the game. Apply the rules in a consistent, clear and impartial way so that everyone feels they are being treated fairly. But that doesn't mean you have to whistle for every offence. When you make the right choice to stop the game or to let it continue, you give the game the space it needs to develop and flow. Stimulate the players to show acceptable and sportsmanlike behaviour because a positive sports climate draws the best out of players and you as a referee too. Start by being positive and showing respect before, during and after the game. You are looking forward to the game and that is infectious. Of course you want to prevent unacceptable behaviour but you can also reward good behaviour by giving a compliment, a nod or a smile. When you do this for both teams, you will remain neutral and the players will learn to recognise the sort of behaviour we like to see. Give personal attention to individuals so they feel noticed and valued, making it more likely that they will do the same to you. Keep the mostly good intentions of the players in mind. Some players will remain calm while others will become agitated. It doesn't always help to apply the rules strictly because this can cause the situation to escalate. It could help to ask, what's going on? This often helps to calm the situation and give you new insights. Focus during and after the game on the positive contributions of each player and even ask them for feedback. You can learn from it and it allows players to compliment you on your performance. Share the responsibility with other officials, coaches and captains so that they are closely involved in creating a safe sports environment. As a referee, you do not have to carry all the responsibility. Involve players and coaches so that they experience the space to find their own solutions. This will allow you to blow your whistle a little less and the game to flow more smoothly. Think about which situations you would like the coach or captain to take responsibility. Discuss this beforehand so that you can ask them to cooperate during the game because players will change their behaviour more quickly when their coach or teammate asks them to. Whoever you are as a referee, it is important to do what suits you as a person. Some referees are better in providing structure, stimulating, giving personal attention or sharing responsibility. The most important thing is to keep an open mind. Use the four insights to ask yourself how you can improve your refereeing and how you can get more enjoyment from your role. Visit our website for more information.